Hello and welcome to video one of your 22 apps onboarding sequence. My name is Matthew McGregor and I'm really glad you're here because in today's video, we're going to be talking about, as it says on screen, how to come up with a hot app idea that brings you downloads, engagement, and sales. Um, and if you would, as you would have heard in probably the last, uh, the last video or the first video, if you haven't watched it, make sure you see below. There was kind of like an introductory video to explain what is 22 apps and why is this so important and how apps are really uh, taking over the digital marketing space, as well as what you get included in your 22 apps free package. And what we're covering today, though, is uh, covering how you can begin thinking about what kind of app you can build, what kind of app you can implement, what is the idea for the app that is going to help you to grow and scale your business. And it doesn't matter what type of business you have. You can have uh, a consulting or, or health and wellness, or um, you can be in relationships or spirituality or whatever it is your area is. Um, an app is designed to be much like a website or much like a funnel where it supports your clients or future clients in reaching the outcome that they're looking for. Uh, and of course, you know, being able to monetize that. So um, let me talk about to give you a couple of ideas on what exactly an app could look like for you, uh, the two different types of, of apps. Um, so I found after building a, or um, designing a whole bunch of different apps, um, that there's really two types of apps that people are looking to, to build or, or, or move forward on. Um, there's resource apps, and then there's what I like to call tool apps. And these are just the classification. They don't hold any uh, tangible weight, but it's easy to get your head around it. So um, I'll go through some examples of this so you, you get an idea. Uh, so resource apps, um, I like to say, are, uh, as it says on screen, are the perfect resource for your potential clients and current clients to stay connected with you. And of course, learn more, grow more, engage more, and ultimately buy more, right? So uh, on screen, you can see an example of my client, uh, Kieran Zapp, and she has a business called The Lady Alliance, where what she's done is she has people come in, and in her particular business, there's um, like different chapters. So they, they choose their chapter, and then it has like this menu of where they can access all this stuff. But then the real goodness uh, comes with she has in her app, she has her podcast, uh, she has her membership, she has... Um, her upcoming events. She has her mini courses. She has her virtual events. And while this is awesome uh, and amazing and fantastic and people can come and connect and grow more, engage more and, you know, learn more. Um, it's also fantastic because in the, in the back end, all of this is secretly a funnel. When they come into her app, she is going to be regularly updating it with new new events and virtual events where she, at those events, she's going to be selling her programs, products, and services. In the mini courses, it's structured where she has uh, five sets of uh, 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 each, each course, like each mini course, can have a set of five videos where the first video is an introduction, the next three are content, and then the last one is an offer. And if we grow, go back up to her podcast, what's cool about having a podcast in an app is most of the time podcasting is this one-way communication channel. Um, and, uh, and it's challenging to get people to go over to the show notes and click on, you know, um, the thing to go get the gift or whatever. Whereas um, with what Kieran can do is uh, she can have a button pop up at the exact time the call to action is, is said. Um, and so she can have people book a call or get some sort of freebie or, or get on her mailing list or whatever it is right there within her app. Okay. So that helps with like the two way communication with podcasts, videos, that sort of stuff. Um, and taking that next step in further engaging with you and your world. Um, so once again, Remember that this is an app is not like a website where it just sits there. Okay. If you're taking notes, it's, it's good to take notes, right? Um, an app is not like a website where it just sits there. It, it is a monetization tool. So make sure we're thinking about that as we move forward. Now, a tool app is, as it says on screen, a 
fun yet meaningful way to give your clients more value and control in a certain area of life while of course um, being able to interact daily with your brand. Um, and it, just as I go into this, uh, one thing that's important to note or write down or mention is it doesn't matter how your app is designed or built, uh, you'll also be able to leverage our push notification system to send people those little reminders that pop up on your phone, on their phones, um, saying, come back to the app, check this out, register for this, um, watch this video, uh, do your daily task, whatever it is. Okay. Um, and so here on screen, you can see an example of, of a tool app and, uh, it, it's actually pretty cool. I have a little bit of a story around it. Um, this client is awesome. His, his name's David and David has this business, uh, uh where y you know, like the little, um, Keurig coffee pods, like, you know, the little Keurig coffee pods. Um, well, what he does is it, he fills these things with tea and he puts his well-off kind of branding on it. So it's like this, um, this tea kind of well-off sort of branding. And, uh, I like to tease him cause his name's like David and it's David's tea, <laughs> except it's in curate format anyway. Um, so that's his business, but rather than having his app be centered around, uh, tea, uh, he's created it to support them again, as it says in, in giving them that meaningful method to have more value or control over uh, their certain area of life, which in this case is, um, kind of mindfulness. So he has them come in, then choose the gratitude statement. Uh, they get a mantra card. They choose who they're going to be today. It gives them some actions for today. And then, um, it celebrates with a pat on the back a woohoo, some fireworks. Um, but see then every now and then in David's app, and you have to always be thinking, how are we going to monetize this? Um, in David's app, rather than giving fireworks, a pat on the back, a handshake every now and then he's giving a coupon code to say, Hey, you've earned this. You've been using their, this app for, for the last couple of days. You have earned yourself a 20% off coupon code to go buy some product from our site. And then they go over and they buy, you know, product from their site for 20% off. Um, but it feels like they've earned it. It's like this, this element of gamification, right? It's, it, this is something that we haven't been able to do before really when it comes to a website or a funnel or anything like that, um, uh, to improve conversions, right? Um, and, uh, and no one said you can't do both. If you want to have your app be like a resource app and a tool app, go ahead a hundred percent. Um, in fact, lots of my clients are doing that and, and coming up with unique ways to, to leverage both ideas of this community aspect and place to get everything uh, to do with you and your business. Yet at the same time, having something in there, uh, whether it's, whether it's something like David, or maybe it's like daily tips, uh, maybe it's a daily journal prompt. Maybe it's, um, uh, the quote of the day or the quote of the week, right? Some reason to bring people back into your app. Um, and the question that we kind of want to take a look at here today, uh, when it comes to, uh, the purpose of your app, because that's what we really want to focus on today is, um, what is the purpose? Okay. We can get into all the other stuff and the little, uh, nitty gritty kind of elements and what goes into the app in the next video. Um, though, what is your niche? And we kind of want to start here because if you create an app, just like if you create a brand or a business or website that is too broad, it can often fall apart really, really, really quick. Um, people want to be able to download an app that they feel is uh, very connected with them, that they feel is um, so specific to their problem and their need and what's going on in their life that they're going to use that app every single day. So your users will be using that every single day. Um, and I want you to make a note or write down, this will, this will be some of your homework. Um, how, how will this app dramatically support your niche or what kind of ideas can you come up with that will dramatically support your niche? I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, so with one, with the app we're creating for, for 22 apps and, and our business, one of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving away as much value as we can when it comes to our courses and, uh, and different trainings that we're just going to be giving away for free. And of course, you know, the idea is that people sign up for the next step. 
right? Um, with yourself. It might be, let's say, I'll give another example. Let's say you're in health and wellness or nutrition or something like this. Um, the app might be centered around really helping them to live that healthy, active lifestyle um, and, and really become the best person they can be in, in their own health right? Um, maybe it's in relationships. Maybe it's whether it be centered around uh, couples or maybe it's centered around uh, individuals um, or you can do both. You might even have sections of your app to really support in, in, in both uh, areas individually. Yet we need to get clear on what is the purpose of the app. An app without purpose, an app without a reason to exist shouldn't exist at all. Okay, it's same as a business. And a business without a purpose, a business without a reason shouldn't really exist at all. Um, and I'm sure you're here to really, you know, do something profound, impact people in a, in a positive way. So let's start off by writing, um, what would you like your app to be about? What would you want the purpose of your app to be? And how will this, how will having an app in this case dramatically support this particular niche and maybe write some results. Uh, in our case, the result would be with the courses and you know the training that we want every entrepreneur to succeed. We wanna give every entrepreneur the tools, reasons, methods um, that they need to, to find success. Uh, and uh, to support you in making sure that this is uh, super, super easy, I'm gonna link a whole bunch of app examples below on this page. So you'll be able to see examples of uh, a whole bunch of different niches if you're trying to think of, oh, what exactly could the purpose of my app be? Um, we're going to link apps we've designed for coaching, consulting, health and wellness, uh, NLP, hypnotherapy, events and speaking, golfing, business, food, music, creativity, set tech, software, like literally everything we can think of, we're, we've designed it and, uh, and you can find it below. Um, so uh, the question that I want, uh, I get a lot um, that kind of comes up. From, from all of this is, uh, Matthew, are apps the new website? Like, where does my website fit into this? And uh, I, I get this question a lot because it, it's kind of like, mm, as I've been talking, most people tend to see the app as being this go-to place that everyone should be going to, or everyone should be downloading it, or everyone should be engaging. And that is true. Let me share with you. Um, apps are really, really, really great for frequent users and frequent engagement. This is where you want to be sending all your clients to download this app. And it's actually going to um, uh, have a dramatic effect on your business. And here's why. When you have an app, you get what's called, um, you start to build what's called daily active users or monthly active users. Uh, whereas with a website, a website tends to get one-time visits or one-time attention or, 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 or something like this. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll talk about websites in a second, though. With daily active users or monthly active users, you, your business's um, valuation skyrockets. Okay, so if you're ever interested in, uh, if you are interested in selling a co your company or at the very least, um, building an organization second none so that your name will appear in many people's testimonials, the, the reason daily active users are so valuable is because they are engaging in your content on a regular basis. They have such a, a love and a knowing of what's going on in your world that they will, they're going to be your hugest, biggest raving fans ever. The other side of push notifications, or the other side of apps is you can also send push notifications. So um, uh, as I talked about, uh, unlike a website, you can't do that. You can't bring people back into your app every single day. Um, apps are also the, one of the best, uh, rapport builders because you can, um, actually have content right in there for your prospects, as well as it's great for content delivery where members can go into your app and they log in one time and they never have to remember a login code ever again. They log in one time to your app and then they can start using it um, and, and leveraging the tools and resources that you've, that you've put in there. Um, and of course, it's really great for converting leads into clients because of all this, because uh, it's so easy to get them engaging on a daily basis and engagement leads to sales. Um, 
Now, I think the website has a place. It's definitely good for things like where, where, where you do only need one-time visits. Um, and as an example here is like media attention um, or discovery. Like it, it's, it's still good and still viable, especially when it comes to the discovery of you, your programs, your products, your services, that type of thing. But it's not good for consistent engagement. Okay, it's also definitely good for professionalism. It's good to have your testimonials on there. And, um, and really, in my opinion, a website should be, uh, should have access to all your main channels, which of course, one of those channels would be your app. You might also choose to have on there, you know, uh, to get on your mailing list or join your Facebook group or other, uh, uh, these other sorts of things, though, the website might be for oftentimes the first place they check out when they hear about you, you first off, and then they can get involved in your circle from there. Um, and again, also good for, for media attention, but not good for consistent engagement. This is why mobile apps are so popular and so valuable and, um, and why the big companies have been always wanting to get into the mobile app market. And so now we're allowing the entrepreneur and the business owner and, um, you know, small business to, to participate with 22 apps. Cool. Um, so this is your mission. <laughs> Should you choose to accept it is to determine the purpose of your app. Okay. So, uh, again, what I want you to do, forget about the, all the little details and what goes into the app and like, Oh, should, uh, do I create videos and audios and content or like what, 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 all, what am I all creating? I just want you to determine the purpose. Okay. Is the purpose to help them move forward in their health and vitality is the purpose to, um, uh, move them forward in their business or in their growth. What is the purpose to help them, uh, take that next step up, in, um, in, in whatever element that you, you're focusing on and really think about how you can support that as best as possible. What is the purpose of your app going to be? Um, and what I invite you to do is actually go ahead and share that right now in our VIP Facebook group. So there'll be a button on this page to go, which will link over to our VIP Facebook group. And I want you to share your app idea and your app's purpose using the button below. So go over there, there'll be a post where you can share it and, um, and, and that'll be super, super awesome. I'd love to hear from you. Oh, and one last thing, what I'm really excited to share is that as 22 apps kind of rolls out and it, as you've kind of watched this video and seen exactly what it's going to, um, what's kind of unfolding in, in this kind of stuff, if you're at all interested in sharing the free version with other users and having them be able to sign up like your friends and family and that sort of thing, we're going to actually pay you to share this platform for free with your friends and family. So if you want to share 22 apps and actually get paid to do it, uh, the free users are going to be earning 20% commission on every single sale that comes from uh, referring someone to the free version and having them upgrade later. And pro members actually get 40% commission every single time you refer somebody and they upgrade. As well as that, you'll also notice that free users get 5% tier two commission while pro members get 10% tier two commission. And what this means is that if you refer, you know, let's say Joe and Joe brings in somebody else who then upgrades to whether it's the pro version or something we announce at a later date, because what we're actually doing is we're hard coding this in. So it doesn't matter whether someone signs up now, three months from now, a year from now, 10 years from now, you'll be credited for the sale. And uh, if Uncle Joe <laughs> refers somebody, you'll actually get five or 10% commission, depending on what level you're on, the free version of the pro or the pro version um, of his sale, which is super, super, super exciting. And so I've actually linked below You'll find a link to our members portal uh, where for affiliates and that sort of thing. Um, so you can get started, get signed up as an affiliate and begin sharing 22 apps, simply the free version, right? It's easy. It's free. Why you're probably going to share it anyway. You've probably told people, Hey, you know, we've got this. Uh, I, I actually just got this new software um, where uh, I'm going to be able to build my app and that sort of thing. And so it's this very viral effect of, whoa, apps really are the new website. 
and it's going to be easy for you to share, easy to refer, and easy to bring in that money. So I'm looking forward to seeing you over in the affiliate area. I'll put a link somewhere on this page and you can go ahead and check out that. I look forward to seeing you back for video two where we're gonna be talking about the content that's going to be going into your app. So definitely check out the affiliates, affiliate area and definitely look forward to seeing you for video two very, very soon. Take care.